is the SEC the best system to, to do this? I think the American public kind of gets it, that the system is not mm -hmm. fully working for them. That, that's right. Oh, yes. Right. It's, it's, I believe, I believe okay. that's true. All right. The apes exposed something really interesting. They crowdsourced a way of rooting out corruption. They found things in the system that didn't seem right, like the information that they were getting was two weeks old, that they weren't being told that these 140% uh, shorts totaled that 140%. They, they knew there was a short, but they didn't get that information until later, and they didn't get the information to the extent of it. And doesn't that show that disclosure and transparency are not functioning to the protection of investors? I'm not saying this is without its challenges. There are real challenges. There are real challenges. <laughs> Complexity helps them. Give me a better system. Give me a better system to do this than the one we have in place. Because the one we have in place is getting its butt kicked. I, 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 I believe in this system. I believe in our American democracy. You're not going to get me I'm to not, say I'm not something saying other than give that. Give me a, a, a different system I, than wait, American democracy. Purely based on financial, the financial system we have and the stock market. Is there a better system than the SEC? Is there something in this crowdsourcing that the apes brought to bear that can be useful? Can there be a partnership between the SEC and a more crowdsourced? John, I live within the system I'm in. Dream, I, man, dream. I, I, yeah, you want, yeah, I'll dream, but I also want to get things done. Okay. I want to get things done on behalf of the investing public. Have you thought about, outside of the bureaucracy, is there something that could help you be more agile? So I, I would say, and, and a compliment goes to Senator Grassley from sure. Iowa. He, he no, All Senator right. Grassley fought hard on, on a decentralization point you're talking about. It's called okay. the whistleblower law. So in the aftermath of the 08 crisis and that yes. big reform law, Dodd-Frag, Senator Grassley fought hard that this agency and some other agencies stood up and put in place a whistleblower program. And over the 10 or so years that this has stood up, we've given uh, awards. That's a crowdsourcing, right. decentralized. Right. What do we need to do? And is the SEC not enough? You know, if you look at the past 10 years, right, or the past 20 years, the SEC very rarely uh, will send something and recommend it to the DOJ for prosecution. That 2008 well, that's financial not, that's, crisis. That's not true. I mean, we, br we bring about 700 uh, enforcement cases, 700, 750 enforcement cases a right. year. And, and I can give you the exact figures, but a whole chunk of those are also joint criminal investigations. Right. You know, with all the financial shenanigans that have gone over the years, the only person we've really brought to heel is Martha Stewart. And that's got to tell you something about just how tilted this You've thing is. I've forgotten a little bit about Bernie Madoff, but... Well, speaking of Bernie Madoff, who came up with payment for order flow? Yeah, yeah right. No, I, I understand, but he did serve his time in jail and everything. There. One guy and, and, and one woman. Generally, it seems like people don't go to jail for financial crimes. They pay fines. I think that's a fair statement. That, that, that's 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 fair. Generally, the Department of Justice has the criminal authorities. Understood. We have the civil. That's right. And on the civil side, more than fifty percent of the fines levied from SEC judgments are not collected. There are less financial judgments that are levied now than there were fifteen years ago. It doesn't seem like the SEC has the ability to keep up. Is there anything that you would think could bring more teeth to the SEC in terms of accountability that would be more of a stick? I think what we can do is bring important cases that are sort of high profile cases that show people, no, you're over the line. It could mm -hmm. be accounting fraud. It could be insider trading. So, but is there something that would be more uh, of a deterrent? More of a deterrent is yeah is bars where individual, individual accountability, there's nothing like individual accountability to send a deterrent across the whole market if somebody's held accountable. We only have civil law enforcement, but that means barring them from trading. the industry or right. trading or appearing before us. Willing to litigate, 
this this agency has to be willing to go into court mm -hmm. and you know take some losses from time to time, but go into court. Right. I think all of those things, but it's trying to use high profile cases to bring folks back on the right side of the line. Mm -hmm. And also I would say a focus on gatekeepers, gatekeepers, the accountants, the lawyers, the, the underwriters and so forth. Um, that sends a signal across the market too. Take out the little guys. No, 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 no. The gatekeepers, <laughs> the gatekeepers, John. Coming back in a year, we're going to see how this all worked out. Ah, uh, give us a little bit more time, but yeah, I got it. Well, by then it'll be a whole different financial market. All right. Really appreciate Thank it. You. Fascinating. Thank you. Thank you.